Hello, Miss Ellis. Do you have an attorney? You do? Do you have the money or means to hire an attorney? Have you received your indictment? I don't know. Okay. Have you read it? You have not read it. I read okay. it to you back there, right? We have a copy here. You can read it. I don't want to. You don't want to read it? No. Are you willing to accept that the public defender has read it to you? I'm sorry. You asked her not to. Well, but she did read it to you, correct? No. She didn't read it to you. Okay, well, we can read it in open court. Okay. It's a 10 count indictment. Count one alleges that on or about June 3rd, 2024, the defendant did purposely and with prior calculation and design cause the death of JW 1029-2020. The state of Ohio reserves the right to seek a superseding indictment containing the appropriate 2929.04a aggravating circumstances specifications. And so you understand that means the state is reserving its right to add a death penalty specification. Count two alleges that on or about June 3rd, 2024, that the defendant did purposely cause the death of JW 1029-2020. Count three alleges that on or about June 3rd, 2024, the defendant did cause the death of JW, date of birth 1029-2020, as a proximate result of the offender committing or attempting to commit an offense of violence that is a felony of the first or second degree to wit felonious assault, a high revised code section, 2903.11A1 and or endangering children in violation of a Ohio Revised Code section 2919.22B2. Count four alleges that on or about June 3rd, 2024, the defendant did knowingly cause serious physical harm to JW on 10, date of birth 1029-2020. Count five alleges that on or about June 3rd, 2024, the defendant did torture or cruelly abuse JW, date of birth 10-29-2020, a child under 18 years of age, and furthermore, the violation resulted in serious physical harm to JW, date of birth 10-29-2020. Count six alleges that on or about June 3rd, 2024, the defendant did attempt to purposely cause the death of Margot Wood. Count seven alleges that on or about June 3rd, 2024, the defendant did attempt to cause the death of Margot Wood as a proximate result of the offender committing or attempting to commit an offense of violence that is a felony of the first or second degree to wit felonious assault, Ohio Revised Code Section 2901.11A1. Count eight alleges that on or about June 3rd, 2024, the defendant did knowingly cause serious physical harm to Margot Wood. Count nine alleges that on or about June 3rd, 2024, the defendant did, knowing that an official proceeding or investigation was in progress or was about to be or likely to be instituted, alter, destroy, conceal, or remove any record, document, or thing with the purpose to impair its value or availability as evidence in such proceeding or investigation. Count 10 alleges that on or about June 3rd, 2024, the defendant did with purpose to deprive the owner, volunteers of America store, of property or services to wit, knives, knowingly obtain or exert control over either the property or services without the consent of the owner or the person authorized to give consent. I have now read the indictment to you, do you wish to enter a plea of not guilty? See. Pardon me? See. What's same mean? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. I understand the victims are represented and they want to make a comment before I set bond. Is that true? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Good morning, sir. Could you start with your name? My name is Jared Wood, father of the deceased, husband of Margo. Your Honor, that day, one week ago, she took everything from us. There's nothing 
that could ever replace my son or anything that my wife and I, or even our other kids, are going through. It, it's, it's horrendous. And I, I really wish no bail, period, or extend it to the max limit possible by that you can, at the very least. Just do whatever you can to keep this monster behind the bars. Thank you, sir. Is there anything else you would like to say? That'll be it. Thank okay. you, Your Honor. Thank you. Is there anything else before I pronounce bond? Your Honor, we would just ask that you consider um, assigning the Public Defender's Office, recognizing this is not our number. We did represent her at the first appearance unit. I did meet with her on Friday. We have had contact with her family and begun working on the case. Thank you, Your Honor. When the original bond was set out of Muni Court, the bond was set at $1 million, and it was before the passing of one of the alleged victims. I do not believe that bond is appropriate given the change in circumstances and the allegations that are contained in this indictment. Bond is set at $5 million, cash, surety, or property. GPS, no contact with any surviving victim or victim's family, DNA order. Judges John Russo, pretrials June 17th at 9 a.m. I'll assign counsel. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor.